uh, so I switched to English. Uh, and uh, first of all, I want to have a game with all of you in the room in which I would ask you to, to think about uh, uh, challenges that uh, you think that you, you could face if you start a political campaign. Ezt elmondom magyarul is, tehát hogy uh, arra kérlek titeket, hogy ezekre a posztitekre írjatok rá külön-külön uh, olyan, vegyél többet is akár, uh, olyan kihívásokat, amiket szerintetek uh, amikkel találkozunk szerintetek, hogyha egy politikai kampányba kezdődik. Azt osztogatod? Hú, de rendes vagy. Köszönöm. Vannak mindenhol beépített önkénteseink. <gül> És egyébként is nagyon sok önkéntes energiából jött létre ez a konferencia. Még egyszer mindenkinek köszönöm. Szóval írjatok olyan kihívásokat, amikkel szembesülni fogunk, hogyha egy politikai kampányba belevágunk. Elsősorban akkor, hogyha nem tudom, civilként egy ilyesmibe belekezdünk, tehát hogy ahhoz, hogy valaki választásokon képviselő helyet nyerjen, milyen lépések szükségesek, azt gondoljátok végig, és mik azok a kihívások, amikkel ebben a történetben szerintetek szembesülünk. Ezeket majd vissza fogom gyűjteni az elején. So, so I will, I will collect the papers after your presentation. So, uh, so we met about a year ago with your movement and uh, it was really fascinating for many of us who, who had the chance to hear about your campaign and uh, how you managed to get people involved. So I, I thought about uh, uh, different things that, that you could tell about is how did you build up a campaign from, from the grassroots level and what were the main issues and what was the language that you uh, uh, managed to, to choose and, and, and to, re to ma manage to reach out to people with that. So uh, one of the, the our biggest successes is that we uh, gathered only three months before the the local elections, and it seemed very very optimistic that within only three months we will gain enough visibility to to have a. a like um, a respectable uh, success at the elections and we were uh, uh, ga gaining for uh, of, of course for seats in the in the city council uh, and Zagreb and Asia, um, the way that it was formed it uh, first the main initiators were people that came from different activist movements and that they had a, a like um, a history of of um, taking part in different um, the bigger uh, social movements and things that, uh, for instance, m some of the people were from the student protests in 2009, some people were urban uh, activists that had a history of fighting with the mayor, and uh, uh, they, they decided to, um, to form a political platform that would uh, entice people who uh, who were uh, not so uh, who didn't trust the the political party system so uh, we decided to make a system where only people who are uh, willing to will take part uh, in the party and the rest of the people will be a part of the platform that has the decision making uh, decision making rights that can decide on things but they don't have to be involved in a political party because in Croatia people see as po political parties as something really corrupt. Um, so first uh, people that got into it were uh, activists, then uh, they gathered people from different uh, 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 li like uh, D d different social fights, but also what is very important be because we didn't want to close into these intellectual ac activist circles, but we, we from these uh, uh, 
uh, fights uh, uh, f uh, gathered around different uh, uh, very specific issues in the city. We also collected collected uh, people that were active in their neighborhoods that they didn't uh, necessarily come from the same background that, as us. Also, uh, they collected some people that had media visibility, such as uh, uh, artists or uh, people that uh, are for instance, uh, this woman here the, to the right, she is a very famous Croatian uh, LGBT activist, some people that could gain them uh, visibility. Um, and uh, within three months, the movement was uh, growing and growing uh, w w with different people from different, uh, ty uh, di different uh, uh, backgrounds. Yes. So, Eva. Okay, yes, uh, I just uh, maybe to add that we also uh, talked and negotiated with uh, people from uh, trade unions because uh, uh, from the uh, from our background before and uh, through our uh, organizations we worked a lot uh, in networking with trade unions so we also have in this uh, had in this uh, like uh, core of the platform we had people from uh, trade union especially trade unions that were active in uh, on the local level uh, so okay after we formed a, a platform i think it's very important to say that uh, uh, we formed a platform which wasn't like a political party. It was a platform that could uh, that uh, included like people who even didn't want to be part of the like a political party, and they could make decisions on our candidates on the local elections and all other important decisions. But we had to also uh, found a, a party so we could uh, go for the elections, and then we found it of course a party with people who wanted to be a party members. But actually our core is like a platform that is like broader than a, than a, like than a party which is also called Zagreb Inash. So okay, after we formed the platform and the party, uh, we started to negotiate with uh, other smaller leftist progressive parties in Zagreb. Um, uh, and so we negotiated with uh, and talked to anti-fascist left, uh, workers front, Green Party and the party for the city. Uh, so the criteria was actually to talk to, to parties who uh, did, haven't been active and, uh, before in the local institutions and who weren't involved in like corrupt governing before. And uh, the idea was to, to, made, uh, to make a coalition of these like left, green left uh, parties in Zagreb to first of all to avoid split vote. Uh, on the local elections, but also to, to avoid the, 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 this public image, but also the image from the, the left uh, of this like fragmented left. Uh, and uh, so, and uh, what we did, we actually uh, succeeded in it and we formed a coalition of these uh, five parties and we uh, ran for the elections uh, together. And th this was actually the first time uh, in uh, Zagreb and in Croatia that we had like uh, a united progressive left uh, initiatives and uh, parties that were running for the, for the, for the elections. Um, and we, we got 7.4% uh, uh, of the electorate, which is uh, 20,000 and uh, for uh, 24,000 votes and our uh, mayor's party who seemed like he could uh, he is this uh, giant and we are these small mosquitoes as we said yesterday he got 74,000 uh, uh, votes so it's not such a big difference if you think of it and if you think only of three months of campaigning yes and we uh, uh like we got four people in the city assembly and uh, 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 these people are like, each people was from one party uh, and uh, only one, like uh, the Green Party actually didn't enter because they were fifth on the list. Uh, and uh, we also got uh, 40, uh, 21 seats in the district on the district level and 40, 41 on the neighborhood level. 
So okay, after we built uh, built the coalition, we uh, we um, we're talking about the main focuses of our campaign, and so we realized that uh, the topics we are going to address and the issues we are going to address have to, like are going to be uh, and has to be like kind of tailor made for these elections. So we launched uh, our campaign uh, in a way that we said this is uh, thi these uh, elections, local elections, are a referendum on, uh, on privatization of communal services. Uh, so, and this was like our uh, main uh, actually topic and issue. The, so we were like uh, talking and addressing the problems of privatization of uh, public services. Uh, so uh, we were advocating access to the services and uh, and uh, the quality of the services. Uh, uh, the thing is, that we we wanted to actually to address the the very concrete uh, and tackle the concrete problems, uh, but which were uh, like based uh, on, the, on on more expect level on like problems that are uh, connected to so social justice uh, sustainability and participation so uh, except this uh, opposing uh, to privatization of public services we also uh, were addressing the questions of uh, availability of uh, kindergartens and uh, like the, the 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 problems with the public transport system uh, and uh, the problems with uh, with wa uh, with waste management in the city so it was like the the, the 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 topics were uh, something that like people could uh, connect to, to connect to and to relate to and uh, and all of these uh, topics we were we were addressing uh, we, we addressed this it in a way that it was like something what was con concrete yes we do not have uh, like enough spaces in the kindergartens and that's why like women has to stay at home and uh, stay with their children so all of these topics although they were uh, and problems although they were concrete they were kind of based in the, like uh, it, they weren't like ideologically void we had like the the also the the uh, the, the agenda was uh, like uh, understandable mm -hmm. uh, okay and then we uh, made the program <laughs> Uh -huh. And uh, the program was actually based on all these uh, points that Eva was telling you about. The, the, in these circles, I don't know why we didn't translate this, but you have this health uh, system, uh, like uh, EU funds, uh, uh, urbanism, culture, social policies, uh, 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 and housing, of course. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the way, because we wanted to make this uh, in, a, in a participatory and democratic way, it, with a bigger amount of democratization, of course, and uh, accessibility for everyone. So uh, how we did it, uh, we uh, the, the the core of the platform they divided into program groups, and they within each program groups they developed a certain uh, a certain field of interest and developing program there so first we had the program group of from our platform then they involved people that they didn't want to belong to the party but they were on the same like uh, side as us and they were experts in but not in this technocratic sense experts but people who are dealing with certain fields to help us and then when we devised that we uh, involved people in a way that we put this uh, on uh, the internet and uh, we invited people to comment on these things and to uh, add the things that they find relevant in these certain fields and also to prioritize between the things that we add uh, that we uh, offer them like okay we don't think this is this uh, important we think this is more important so in a way we really uh, made effort uh, not just the, pr the, the program isn't de made and designed by three people, that we really, really involved as many people as possible uh, within these very important areas of interest. Okay. Okay, so we had a platform, we had a coalition, uh, we focused on like main topics, we made a program, so we, we had to uh, think of of course, everything happened like in the same time, but <laughs> almost in the same time. But we ha had to t think about about the methods, how to to reach the public, how to reach the people, and how to uh, to reach the media. And uh, so this is only um, I'm saying this only because uh, our uh, candidacy for mayor actually really helped us, which Han is going to tell you m more about. But so we were running for. Uh, four levels of local government for neighborhood councils, dist district councils, city assembly and mayor. And uh, so w we knew 
that uh, we uh, yes. It's like a smaller, it's a smaller unit, so... Uh, yes. Yeah. How many, how many neighbor groups there are in Russia? 200, uh, neighbor, neighborhood councils, yeah. 218. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one million. One million. Like yeah. l l less than one million, yes. 218 uh, councils, uh, 17 districts, one city assembly and one mayor. Uh, yeah, and yeah, this is like an interesting question because uh, since we had uh, these like four levels, uh, we had to and uh, we had to make uh, uh, lists for every for each level. So we actually, if we wanted to be in all, all neighborhood councils, we had to make 218 lists with with from five to nine people. It's, it's only w that, that, that was the only way we could uh, candidate. And for the district council, we had to have like 17 lists with uh, from 15 to 19, 19 people, depends on the, on the district. Of course, we, we didn't manage to cover everything. But what, what we knew was that uh, if, uh, uh, as, if, if we cover mm, uh, like uh, as many as neighborhoods we uh, neighborhood councils we cover we will get like more uh, votes on the on the city assembly level because th this th this was the way that we people actually actually could hear uh, about us uh, and for the mayor uh, candidacy we knew that we don't have uh, uh, that we won't win the, the mayoral elections, but we actually used it as a method to reach, uh, to, 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 to reach more people and to, like, yeah, to, to get popular. So, Hannah, maybe you can say some, something about our mayor. Yeah, we have one more question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so Neighborhood councils. Uh, ezek formalizált uh, tanács, vagy valami formalizált csoport, aminek jogszabályi feltételei vannak. Uh, Magyarországon ez nem nagyon ismert az önkormányzatiságban, avagy uh, egyszerűen szomszédok baráti köre, vagy együttműködő társasága. Uh, so, azt szeretném kérni, hogy majd a kérdéskörbe kérdezzetek, mert bajunk van a mikrofon megosztással és a tolmácsolással. Tehát, hogyha most kérdeztek, és nem a prezentáció után, tudom, hogy ez egy, ez egy olyan pont, ami tök más, mint Magyarországon, de hogy, hogy nehéz a fordítást így megoldani, hogyha most kérdeztek. So, so the question was if, like, like uh, what, are, what are the legacies that the neighborhoods councils have is it uh, is it like just uh, like a um, set of local community people or they have real uh, 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 um, decision making power and 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 yes they are they are uh, elected so yeah uh, yeah yes they're elected and um, they they are uh, actually there i i was in a neighborhood council for uh, nearly two years and now i'm in a district council so my career, political career is <laughs> uh, heading up uh, so uh, the the problem that neighborhood council deals um, is mainly um, a very 
you know, everyday problems like traffic, uh, people need another traffic light somewhere, people need uh, more parking space, uh, and uh, people need uh, uh, two benches in a park, or they need their benches moved away from the building because young people drink there at night and they, they, it is loud, so you have to decide either you will protect the older people or you will protect the younger. So these are the issues. But it's funny because the, uh, the neighborhood con council is comprised of people who are from the same neighborhood and these are small neighborhoods like five streets sometimes and and these people are from different political parties so it's a, it's a bit of an absurd situation because you have these issues that are really really local and small and still you have people that are fighting because they are um, they are uh, listening to the orders from above uh, they, are, they are standing there for their political party dealing with issues such as two benches in a park so and also what is very uh, frustrating about these neighborhood councils that they're quite powerless they, they deal with a very very small amount of money that they can um, use for very particular issues that are very often decided on a higher level so yes um, yes uh, so uh, the, the the what we had now is our mayor uh, candidate, right? Um, but also, I think uh, what we we were saying before, when we were saying about these lists, that we had to make lists for all the districts and all the neighborhood councils. That re this really changed our. Uh, uh, perspective in a way because you, you now you ha we had to decide when you had to be on a neighborhood list because there were, wasn't enough of us so somebody called you and said do you want to be on your district's list so we ha just had to decide okay we are into this now we are into politics we will be on a list where people will vote for us we we will we're getting inside this but maybe we can sorry just just to add mm -hmm. uh, to this uh, the legacy of the the and the, the authority of this uh, neighborhood council and district council actually we didn't know that there are such power uh, such powerless mm -hmm. as they uh, as, uh, uh, and we really we, real, we realized it when we entered uh, the the neighborhood councils and district councils uh, actually people from Zagreb don't even know that this something like this exists and uh, and they don't know what what the people there do and so we thought okay uh, the 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 um, our uh, mayor was like uh, he was always bragging, like bragging. Yeah, how he he decentralized the Zagreb and how he uh, uh, like uh, opened the space for people to to make decisions about the issues they are actually like their issues. But when we came into these like institutions, we realized that it's just uh, it's just like actually he's bragging. It's just like an illusion of decentralization and like the democratization of the of the system. So now we are actually talking about the uh, the lack of transparency, a lack of democratization in this system, and uh, so and we are advocating like the the more participative uh, like structure of the of the local go government and. Also, we are advocate, advocating like the uh, participating budgeting also from the from the this lowest level uh, up to the city assembly. So, is is, is the question like very? Uh, just use the mic microphone, please. Hello, uh, do you use um, Zagreb Benash uh, um, name of also for the neighborhood lists and the, the district lists, or? Yeah, you, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Yes, okay. it's this. Yeah, it, that, that, the that coalition. I just thought that you, you might use the name of the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. I don't know, Utrine Sunashe or something. No, like but no, we have, no, it's, we, everything is Zagreb and Nash, but we have Facebook pages for uh, different districts. So we have Chernomerec and Nash, Peshtienica and Nash, Nije Peshtia and Nash, and so on. So everything ah, okay. is branded. But, but on the list, on the list for the, well, with what our candidate, is what was Zagreb and Nash, and we knew it, we, it has to be like that because it will, uh, uh, we will gain visibility with, uh, yeah. with this, this Thanks. way. Uh -huh. And okay, this this was our mayor candidate, which uh, if any of you were here yesterday, I said that uh, within time he uh, kind of uh, profiled himself uh, to be the main attacker of uh, of our mayor in the in the city council 
uh, just as before he was his attacker from the streets, as Eva said yesterday, in the streets and uh, in the in institutions. So uh, because all of us volunteered uh, while uh, we were handing leaflets, Th this is the, the scan of our leaflet the, that we were handing to people where we were gathering uh, signatures for Tomislav. And, uh, uh, we were um, like uh, selling him <laughs> as this uh, impeccable guy who is very well educated uh, but also uh, very um, like uh, com combated, combatant, combative, combative, uh, how do you say it, uh, in, uh, in terms, because he had this history of really uh, being pushed from the street by the police, uh, uh, protesting, being very, very loud and very, very visible in terms of, okay, I can fight this mayor from the streets. So, but uh, still, since Croatia is such a patriarchal, macho uh, country, uh, when I was uh, handing leave I was doing this uh, on uh, uh, one big square and people were like, oh, we don't want this intellectual with glasses. He is so powerless. What can he do to our uh, mayor? He, our mayor is a mafia guy. What can this nerd do to him? Uh, so, uh, but uh, with time, it, it showed that this nerd is much more powerful than they thought. Maybe just to add, so uh, having a mayor, a mayoral candidate was actually a, like a tactical move because uh, in the beginning we uh, we had like um, like a certain media blockade. We couldn't like push through medias, and uh, since the since this uh, we have this system of direct elections of the mayor, and uh, these uh, mayoral elections are kind of perceived as also as a presidential elections and only this level of uh, of the of the the election on, on the local level was actually perceived uh, by the media so we knew that th this was like our first breakthrough uh, in the media with our, with his uh, with, with his candidacy and i have to say that this was also i i would say like the the hardest part of the campaign to decide something like that and to put to put his face on the on the leaflet uh, and uh, to put him because we were talking we are a movement we are a platform we are like uh, we are people horizontally organized uh, we are the one we are the collective and then and at this point we had to um, how to to, to point to out, point out one, one person. person, so it was really hard to decide to do it. But we knew it was like it, a tactical mo move, and we actually succeeded because after that we kind of uh, broke the the media blockade. To, to attract the attention of media, at first we decided to, to make some actions that would be very uh, spectacular, very uh, like visually attractive, and uh, th that would c kind of stick out in the in the in people's minds. Uh, this is one of the the first uh, because this is uh, Zagreb's uh, uh, w waste w uh, land, the dumps dump place. How do you say it? When you uh, landfill in a nice way, yes, uh, wi which we had many problems with and this was one of the main focuses of our campaign. So we decided to plant a, a flag there. We had some criticism from our uh, from some of our uh, friends that th they thought it was too liberal because this is a, this is a, like Iwo Jima who wants to compare themselves to imperialist uh, America uh, but I still I think we get, gain much more uh, pros than cons with this action. Um, another one is uh, like this, this is a uh, Zagreb's main square um, Okay, my English is totally collapsing. How, how do you translate prevara? A fraud. Yes, but this is uh, a, like total fraud. L you know, like uh, we have total sale uh, in because the the main uh, the city center j turned into one big shopping mall. So you have all these total sale things. So now this is total fraud, and it's also a, a very, very attractive visually. And, uh -huh. and after these few actions and also with Tomislav's, uh, we kind of broke this uh, media blockade and people started paying attention and then 
Yeah, but also uh, we invested a lot in uh, social networks and uh, in Facebook, uh, and we use it as our like al our alternative media. And actually, uh, it, it uh, happened to to be a great uh, decision because we uh, gained like in only I think two months we gained like forty thousand follower followers on our Facebook page. Uh, but we really invested a lot of money, a lot of uh, time, and a lot of people. Like there were sixty people. Uh, and even more, like a hundred people were volunteering on uh, producing uh, contact for uh, for Facebook, uh, for our Facebook page. So they were shooting uh, videos. Uh, we also, yeah, we did a lot of uh, press conferences. We had uh, program groups, which uh, uh, they were like researching different uh, city problems and uh, issues, and then um, we were like we were writing about them. So uh, and. Uh, at the end, we made. Uh, maybe we'll have time to 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 put it. <laughs> and at the end, we made uh, ma made also a, a song, um, uh, like a, the song of the campaign, which which also uh, had like a huge. Uh, we put it on Facebook, and but it had just a huge success. Later, they they uh, um posted. So they put it on like radio station, uh -huh. local radio stations, uh, uh, not only in the city but also in the uh, in the country on the state level. Maybe we'll show you later. We have to. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. what, uh, oh yeah, here. Okay, aha, uh -huh. this is it. Okay, uh, but w of course we uh, we realize that we cannot approach all the people through social media, uh, and that we have to do the the field work in a physical uh, world. Uh, so one of the first things uh, we uh, bought are these uh, cheap I IKEA chairs uh, that we were uh, carrying around neighborhoods and uh, organizing these kind of uh, meetings with people from different neighborhoods. You see. Uh, s uh, some of uh, our members here and also the people that I just came to their park to discuss uh, the issues that are concerning them. And I think we, we also have the, our mayor candidate here, you can see him. Uh, so uh, this uh, t uh, turned out to be a, a, a big success be because people were really coming to these uh, neighborhood talks. And we are missing some of the pictures. Uh, Okay, and also we had uh, uh, actions like we uh, brought these pillars where we had uh, posters on them by Zagreb Yenash where people would come with uh, magic markers and write down the things that are bothering them in their neighborhoods. And they, we had volunteers here who were standing next to this pillar and saying to people, come, would you like to write down the things that are bothering you? Then discussing these things with them and telling them, okay, there is an option now that can help you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, also, uh, of course, with these uh, leaflets, uh, um, we, we, uh, we engaged into conversations with people. So we were visiting in the neighborhoods, in, in front of shops, in front of tram stations, somehow with, with these uh, people uh, that re re with uh, many people volunteering, we kind of uh, overwhelmed the city with our presence. We also had this guy with a bike driving around and playing our song. So these were somehow ways we could uh, we could make ourselves visible without uh, investing a lot of money. And when we are talking about money, yeah, and we, we organize just we we also organize uh, sports games for children and like different activities for children in for children in neighborhood, which also kind of through which also we gain uh, visibility. Yes, and uh, for the end, uh, funding, we, it was of course uh, like a huge campaign uh, that happened like in three months. We had a lot of volunteers. There was like 40 people in the platform and uh, uh, out of like uh, 200 who were like active uh, during the campaign, but we needed money. It was like, of course, very important. So we uh, we invested our money and we craft crowdfunding uh, founded it uh, in the platform, and so we uh, we and we actually received the money uh, like uh, I exclusively f I exclusively from like small donations, and we managed to collect uh, fifty thousand euros for the. Uh, sorry. Yeah. 
50,000 euros. Uh, okay. <laughs> we volunteered. And, uh, we we had like we had like I said like 100 like 200 people who were volunteering in different levels. So yeah, uh, and uh, so I think like the 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 this like voluntary work with uh, with uh, this 50,000 euros we collected kind of was the. Uh, the, the basis for the for the campaign and for the success of the campaign. Thank you. Thank you. We are open to questions or the game now. Okay. Uh, before I collect all the papers, the, in the beginning I had a question: is like, what do you think are is challenging to start a campaign? Uh, and uh, uh, what are the elements you think are challenging and uh, especially if you go from the grassroots so I now I, I will get your stickers In whatever language you wrote, I will put them here, and then I also have one extra question. So, how long does it take to form a party? Three months. <laughs> no, it was Meles because you had you had uh, no, three months for the campaign. For the campaign, yeah, we actually formed a party in like less than a month. Yeah. Less than a month. <laughs> okay. Személyi szervezeti támadás más szervezetektől. So, so personal attack uh, or on, on the people or on the organization from other organizations. What do you think about that? Did you have it? How did you face it? I think we were lucky. I, uh, we didn't have uh, such kind of experiences during the campaign. Not even like later. We... <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the they say it's not hungry. It was, <laughs> like I said, it was important how, like, uh, like in the beginning when when we decided after we made the platform, we decided to 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 make a broader coalition of leftist uh, and progressive leftist parties in in Zagreb, and uh, so we we really united everything that was on the left in the on the local level, which actually didn't happen before, and. Uh, the, the extreme right also did that uh, on their part of the political spectrum, but we kind of didn't uh, interfere. I, I think the, the extreme right really didn't uh, see us as serious uh, uh, threat. They really, they, uh, we, when we were campaigning, we did because the, the, the extreme right was also gaining momentum for that uh, elections, and they were, for me, my uh, experiences from leaflets hanging, pending, they were laughing at us. I will look at these uh, retards; they will get, get zero votes. So, we we, we, we were not seen as. How many percent threat. did they get? Uh, eight, and we got wow. seven. So. It's not far. <laughs> okay. Uh, hátrányos helyzet, csalódottság politikában, érdekeltség az állampolgárok része. So, so, uh, hátrányos helyzet. I, I would say it's like, like starting from behind or having a, what? Disadvantaged. Like being disadvantaged. Uh, be not being interested in politics or, or, or losing interest in politics from people who vote uh, or, not, yeah, or not being interested in politics at all. How did you face that from people when you were meeting them who, who said, okay, they don't care about politics at all and they are, they, are, they are poor, they have problems in their lives, they don't care about politics? Uh -huh, we uh, still when we are in these uh, neighborhood and district councils, we are constantly uh, trying to reach to these people because I, I think that in Croatia, uh, we don't have such a you know militant far right or but we b b our biggest problem is this illusionment of people like this total depression that they don't trust anything, any new option anymore, and they are and what 
the most difficult thing is, and that is why we have to be alert on these local levels, to, to be present all the time and somehow to gain their trust in time. Like, uh, okay, you can see that we didn't disappoint you. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. We are still fighting. It wasn't just for the elections. We are still here. So. It's also the topics that we tackled, like when we came to neighborhood and we were talking about like really a bench and we, we like talked about one bench for an, an hour, then like people kind of start to trust you because you're not talking about, I don't know, something abstract, but you are talking about something which is really concrete and it's, it's part of their lives, it's, it's problem in their lives. So I think we, we did a lot with this. Okay, next one is, uh, uh, the problem that all the activists and people who would get involved are very busy and don't have much time. How do you deal with this? So during the campaign, we actually succeeded to, to mobilize like I don't know, 200 people to volunteer. And But what happened later is like that only a few of us stayed, that's for sure. And uh, only those people who entered the... the, the the, the the government the, the neighborhood councils and district councils but uh, we kind of knew it's going to happen yes because people are working and uh, it's it's not that like that you can like whole day just uh, uh, do the politics uh, and uh, now what we uh, realize is that we have to we have to spread we have to include more people we have to make more working groups uh, so and like to, to spread the the the, the things we're doing on and like the uh, responsibilities of the people who are involved. And it's, it's like a slow process like, and uh, we are really exhausted. So th th those <laughs> who stayed, we are really exhausted. But again, when we need something, when we need like a video or something, we, are, we can like call people who were active in the campaign and they are going to do it. So it's not like, wasn't, it's not the same as in, in the campaign, but uh, I, don't, I think it's like a long run. Okay, next one is connected to it that there are not enough activists. So how do you reach out to people to get involved? How do you, how do you reach new people who get involved? Uh, well, uh, I don't know, during the campaign we did, so we did use our activist background and our activist uh, knowledge and experiences in uh, uh, w like working with people in organizing protests, in organizing actions, uh, press conferences. So, uh, so we use that and we use that capital when we entered, the, uh, when we launched the campaign and during the, during the campaign. Uh, and now we are actually doing the same thing. We are in the neighborhoods, we are talking to people. It's like really difficult. Now I get like every day, like, I don't know, 15, 20 emails from different people from my district to ask me, oh, can you do something it's like, okay, I cannot do it. <laughs> it's really, I mean, but, um, uh, but uh, we are uh, like through this uh, by being present in the in the na neighborhood we are kind of uh, including and mobilizing new Mm -hmm. yes. And just one, th something is very important. When they asked us like to do something, then we talk about the the, the structure of the the government. Then we we have the the the, uh, the we have the opportunity to say this is not like this is not transparent. This is not uh, actually decentralized. This is not democratic. And if we want to change, we have to do it together. So and now if, when we are advocating like participative budgeting, we are talking to people who are from our neighbors to 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 get involved. That's great. Next one, lack of media coverage. How do you deal with this as coming from grassroots? Okay. So, yeah, we talked about it, but it was, we, we used, uh, like as a tactical move, used uh, Tomislav to be our candidate for the mayor, which was really successful. And uh, later again, this, we, since we knew how to organize like uh, an uh, interesting and attractive action, such uh, uh, as the one on the Yakushevats landfill, uh, media is just, so we used this knowledge and experience and media just couldn't uh, resist. Okay, the next one is connected to things you already said, is the lack of money, activists and uh, coverage uh, yeah, in, in the oppositional, uh, like in, uh, in, the, in the power uh, arena or... 
I think it's really important to say we had we did m uh, make a campaign in three months and we did form a party in like one month and uh, made a platform in in this like short period of time. But we uh, it it's really not something that happened from like from scratch in these three months. It, it's something that we worked on for for years like for from the student protests in 2009 when we uh, founded like different uh, civil society organizations that were dealing with uh, like. Uh, social justice, workers' ri workers' rights. We 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 were like uh, working on networking for for I don't know ten years. Uh, we were like connecting dif different uh, NGOs, uh, trade unions. Uh, so we kind of had the capital when we we decided to, and we talked about uh, our. Um, political and our entr entrance to political are arena already like two or three years ago and now we realized it's the moment we use the like the political economical situation uh nationally but also locally and uh, and then we like invested our uh, capital from before in the in the campaign and in the uh like and after Okay, I put the, uh, it, for those questions which were the same, like lack of money, lack of activists, lack of media coverage, because many of you had the same question. Uh, then there is a question on how you um, defined goals and strategies. You l talked about it a little bit. I don't know if there's anything you want to add. Uh, I don't know. We, we made like a participative program and uh, we, we, yeah, we kind of address the issues uh, which were like more concrete. Yeah, uh, there's a question if you think you had to make any compromises. I think we, we, we did need to hide, uh, we did need to make this watermelon, like green on the outside, red on the inside. We re did need to hide some of our m more leftist thoughts. <laughs> Uh, in order not to scare people away. I know, it's a, uh, for me it's a big compromise, but we had okay. to... So, watermelon. <laughs> and there's the question of, of what, how you had connection with parties. I mean, part of the watermelon are the parties, I, I guess. Did you have a connection with others who didn't join the, this platform? Uh, we had a coalition with other leftist parties, which have uh, all of them have th they're on a spectrum of being left some of them think of us as being too liberal so some of them we think they're too liberal but somehow we managed to to go through our differences and to form a coalition okay then there is a uh Question about just, uh, just yeah, like to add something ahead. like the Zagreb Anaj is a platform which really includes people from like the the leftist uh, spectrum, like so far left to to like uh, greens and liberals, but not in an economic way, like not locally. And uh, we did like kind of include people, individuals, and made a platform. And uh, we uh, we made a coalition with parties who are like. Uh, like more defined, like we have this like uh, workers front party and anti-fascist like new left, which are uh, think they 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 have only like only people from this like far left uh, uh, spectrum of the, uh, yeah. So we have all. It's not like we are on the like more liberal or more center because like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there, there's a connecting uh, question is like, like, did you have, uh, let, let's say, power fights that none of these parties is taking you or the movement over or like, like how, how, who is, who is spreading their, their goals more in, in the, in this coalition? Uh -huh. Well, uh, it w um, in the, in the, in the campaign, we had the somehow the, the most people involved and the most people that were willing to really work, to, to really volunteer in these not very uh, highly intellectual and interesting things such as staying, uh, standing in the street all day. Or, and uh, so somehow we gained m most strength in the campaign just because we were the ones that were putting in m most effort. 
So we had this feeling that some, sometimes we are the ones that are carrying the rest with us, just because it, it, we were, there were many of us and we were very practically oriented, while sometimes these parties are more, more like theoretical, you know, uh, left theory and uh, n not so much we will go in the streets and talk about two benches. And there's a question, did you pay professionals who in communication and in political strategy building? Uh, no, we found people that, uh, are, that are willing to work for free. That's nice for Even them. Designers <laughs> and media, uh, media uh, mm -hmm. people. Okay, Very then there's, uh, there's a challenge uh, that, um, what, how do you deal with the, that, that many of you did not have uh, experience in being in legislation, in working in councils? Uh, when we all, when we entered the, the councils, we were very much, you know, um, we, we really felt like uh, we need some time to understand how things were going because none of us had experience with that and we were somehow in rooms with people in these councils who did this for uh, many years, Mo most of them do it as a, as a addition to their da daily salary, so they are like professional counselors for for many years. And uh, but what helped us a lot is because we organized this counselors group, which which actually really sometimes functions as anonymous alcoholics groups where, where we <laughs> gather in circles uh, once a month and then we share our experiences and we share our, sometimes our feelings of, of frustration and our, our strategies, how did you deal with yours, how did you deal with yours, because we deal with uh, similar issues and not in this way we help ourselves and we also d know that we are not alone in this council, that we can, we know what our other people in the councils do. Yeah. Uh, Just to know that uh, probably as you saw, uh, show us the results, you are in the opposition or are you, yeah? We are in the opposition in the government, yeah, in the so city of Sam. And you don't get the experience like you are in the opposition. So when the citizens ask you something like any, any questions, any request about doing something in the neighborhood, you can talk to them, but you cannot do it because you are not in the ruling. So after a while you get that, they will tell you that, ah, you promised me you were talking about, but you couldn't do it because you cannot do it. So then they say, ah, you were effectiveless, or useless or something like this. And you get tired of all this kind of fighting in the municipality for years. But this is a something that we really talk about m much, uh, a lot. But uh, sometimes, uh, somehow you cannot, um, uh, if you think like that, then why do politics? Why just don't le let the mafia mayor lead things? Because these people will, will wo vote for him anyway because he will do things for them but somehow we are not doing this as cheap solutions okay you want a parking space i will get you a parking space so in terms of we are really stay in contact with these people and we, we write to them okay i uh, some some things even we manage to push because these are not really big issues sometimes. Sometimes even if an opposition a member of the council comes with a proposition, sometimes we can really push it forward so it happens. For instance, we uh, managed to get like some uh, bicycle uh, tracks or uh, bicycle the p place, places where people can uh, lock their bikes up. Or uh, and then the major is standing next to the bicycle and telling that I was doing it. But yeah, but, this, but, but uh, to think about these things in that way is somehow, yes, it is frustrating, but um, what, what else can we do actually? I mean, we, we can see, th w one, one thing that we do is that we sometimes invite people to these councils so they see how the other m uh, people behave on these councils or we write them, okay, we uh, wanted to push this forward and we did this, this, this and this for you and then a uh, member of the ruling party or member of the, uh, uh, of the mayor's party said uh, we, uh, we want to give money to the church instead. So people are aware. So these are people that, that 
whose sympathies, uh, who's, who's, uh, they like us. I mean, they don't like the mayor. So if they see that we fight for them, they will not turn to the mayor. They will give us more votes next time. I mean, this is a political fight. It's not, we cannot watch this only as a, as a, as a market. Like, I will do you this and then I will give you a vote. People sometimes praise someone who is really fighting and who is really with them, not just I will give you a vote if you give me a parking space. Okay. okay. So, uh, um, we had a bunch of, of uh, questions which are more connected uh, to the Hungarian reality and less to the campaign that they were talking about. So I would ask someone who wrote az összefogás úthengere uh, to explain for for uh, for us what it means. Ki ez a ki ezt ide? Okay. Could, you, could you tell it in English if, if it's possible? Yeah, uh, I will tell it in English. Uh, so um, I think this is a common feature of both uh, political uh, systems is that here uh, in Hungary as well in the uh, left and in the opposition in general <coughs> for um, uh, uh, smaller uh, opposition groups or movements there is this push uh, from the media and the uh, bigger parties to join them in the election uh, because that's how they can get uh, effective votes. So I think, I, uh, I don't know what's the question here, it's just I think it's a block for any new uh, grassroots movement. So you, you you believe that 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 all the, the in Hungary let's say that when we get into the question that we need to to make coalitions because otherwise we cannot win like they also made a coalition to get seats because all this very small organization cannot win there is a challenge that it's going to be taken over by bigger parties who say that you have to join us to be stronger or yeah, to win. Yeah, yeah. And also I think the question here for you is that uh, what's interesting to me in that with such a new movement uh, to my understanding you in this coalition you, your movement became more or less a leading force so how did you con convince the other parties that you are really powerful you just said we have hundred activists and you have don't have any or and uh, that was the case or how how did you convince them then that you are worthy of being the leading it, force of course it was like it was hard especially in the beginning but it uh, after a while we didn't even talk about it because when you have a, an action and you need 100 people and you bring 99 people and they bring one then it's like they're normal people they want <laughs> say no no we need some we want something or uh, when we talked about uh, how money we have to invest in this and this and this and when we like bring uh, I don't know 70 kunas and three of them bring three kunas in invest then 30 kunas then again we didn't talk about uh, this issue. of course it was it was um, in the beginning it was uh, it was uh, harder because they uh, did uh, like pos position them themselves like uh, uh, like more strongly towards us but but like during the campaign and later it was like it was kind of easy easy uh, yeah easy thing the bigger party doesn't swallow us uh, I mean, Croatian uh, uh, Social Democratic Party is really, really, completely, um, nearly dead. I mean, they, they are so uh, involved in that, but I think it's worse than anywhere else. They're, they're, no, no, they're, I don't know the they're, they're losing members by the day. For instance, in my city, uh, uh, in my district council, uh, at the beginning there were three members of, uh, of SDP, and today there is zero. In only two years, they, the, the, um, all three members <coughs> left for other parties. So, yeah, and, uh, 
And maybe another difference, or I don't know, because uh, I have seen that uh, in the elections there were like five different parties. Yeah, and uh, in Hungary this push for uh, coordination is uh, is mostly about the all, almost the whole opposition or 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 the whole opposition yeah i don't know including the right wing it's just well. uh, so there is a push to have uh, not only a coalition of the left or, or center but also to have coalition with the right wing who is yeah who is not the un governing but ev to everyone who is is not in government now Uh, there's a question, I don't know who, who wrote it, maybe you can explain more. Can positive campaigning bring as good outcome as fighting against something? Yeah, that was me. Uh, I, I thought when it's local municipality elections, it's good to talk about benches and and um, and and positive vision we have about the local neighborhood but also it is said very often that uh, fighting against something unites people more than the vision because people tend to like different benches different uh, um, green areas around them but if you fight against something that unites more and in the beginning of the campaign you make a decision and uh, of course it's not either or but the more you focus on negative to fight against something then you have a chance for higher number of turnout and votes probably uh, yes but uh, we combined the two of course this uh, our mayor he is like a really a super villain from a Batman uh, comic. I mean, it's very easy to fight against him. He, he's been ruling for many years and he's a complete caricature of evil. So many people are, uh, are somehow united against him. But we had many options that are, uh, that, that, that for instance, our far right is an option that always has these co uh, arguments about the, the ruling evil communist elites. But when you ask them, but what do you offer if you overthrow them? They're like, uh, okay, we don't know. We will change the, the this main square's name to, to something very, you know, right wing. So we, we wanted to escape this, uh, this uh, pitfall to have only the negative things. Okay, we want to overthrow the mayor, but when we get to power, then we will just collapse. So we wanted to have also these very proactive goals of what we want to do. But, but we did, as I said, we did launch a campaign uh, uh, in a way that we said that these local elections are a referendum on privatization of public services. And our first like and main topic, which I kind of gathered all of the people around it was like, uh, against privatization of public services, of water, of uh, waste management, of, of waste. And so it was like the something that was against actually. But then around that, we kind of built things that uh, Hannah was talking about. Now there is a question about mainly nowadays, like there's one is that I'm not able to cooperate, to talk to the people who are on uh, power, I mean, the, the governing, uh, I don't know, leaders. Uh, it, it, it's, it's also quite a Hungarian thing, <laughs> I, I believe. But like, like now when you're in office, uh, uh, you said that you're acting like mosquitoes, but at the same time, do you have uh, like um, other strategies as well? Do you, how do you communicate with those who are in power, like leading the neighborhoods or with other people like from the neighborhoods who are not no 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 the, p the governing parties uh, I, for example i'm not talking i'm just <laughs> they're yelling at me and i'm yelling at them no but uh, um, 
it's like uh, it, it's different in different uh, districts and neighborhood for example and on the city level for example uh, Tomislav who is like our representative on the in the city assembly like during these two years he managed to uh, gather uh, all the opposition parties uh, uh, around a specific subject one of them is was for example the uh, uh, the struggle against the privatization of water uh, in, in Zagreb, not water, but part of the water system, and actually he managed to 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 gather them, and they voted against, and uh, actually, and some of the people from from the position also voted against, and they we, we kind of won the uh, won this uh, issue, and so um, uh, and 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 he did it like for. And actually, I mean, he and we did it for a few, like a few times. And uh, uh, already now, like I said yesterday, uh, in the media, he's like being called as the leader of the of the opposition. Although we do not, we did not uh, make a make a coalition with them, and we are always uh, uh, like pointing out that uh, we will not uh, uh, do a coalition with all the parties who had uh, who were in the power or uh, were uh, actually allowing our mayor like during last six, six, 16 years to be in the power so we are although we are doing like in the city assembly we are gathering them around specific issues and uh, problems we always kind of point out that like as as the fed the social democrats we do not want to do anything with you because you did like a lot of harm to to, to local politics and to people that like and uh, in the district level it's uh, also very different because there are some like uh, in in some districts we are with social democrats we are like in in the in the position and it really depends they they kind of don't have like a coherent uh, like politics and uh, the co coherent like attitudes about the the subject so we kind of uh, face the situation where in one district like this as the pair uh, we are with them around some issue and uh, like in some other district the same issue and they like have some dif different uh, opinions and attitudes and uh, attitudes and like Hannah said like in two years most of them just like uh, went to two other parties so it's I don't know then there is a, a more personal question like uh, uh, if uh, in by going into campaign and politics do you uh, do you feel that that your private sphere your private life was was hurt in any way I, uh, <laughs> I don't really understand the way that I work too much, so I don't have uh, time for my life or work. Hmm? Uh, I see many times then uh, I know many councillors and councils then a uh, lot of time you lose your your normal profession you lose the connection with your your profession what you made before your career even if you are any any kind of profession and the other things that you are get too much involved in this and then you are become a kind of naki tudja mi az angolul megélhetési politikus like political for living, po politician for living. Because then otherwise you are, I was a photographer and now I'm just a politician and I lost the connection with, with doing my job. And uh, it's happened in five, ten years. And then uh, what happened with you and sometimes you get too much involved uh, and then you are, can divorce and you can have a lot of problems because you are just fighting, fighting, fighting all the time and it, it's, it's not very good for your personality. I'm not the right person to answer this question because I, I think that I'm on a, the district level is not, not such a big level. I mean, all my uh, the, the salary that I get, I give it to the party. All, all the so you have another job that you are making your living. Uh, I, and yes, I'm making my living on something else, which I still have uh, enough time to do. Uh, and um, I, I and I'm, I don't have any children, so. I'm uh -huh. 
Uh, okay, I mean, I, I'm, we are all activists and uh, I have also a, a job which is not like uh, part of this area where I am, I was and I am active even now in politics and uh, most of us have uh, our jobs and like are a being activists after our jobs. So we are all like 24 hours active. Yes, and and when you ask, yes, I broke up a 12 year <laughs> relationship <laughs> because of the, because I, but I kind of choose the, this kind of uh, life. And um, I don't know, for our um, Tomislav, who is like in the representative in the, in the city assembly, he's like, like we said, he's like, yeah, very tired. He, he works from, I don't know, five, in the morning till 12 next like in in the evening and and even more and uh it's kind of like like the politics did kind of become his like main part of life but i don't know i think we are it 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 it, it didn't change from before we were like we were active in many different this uh, like uh, organization and we actually did uh, the same thing we were like active and working and working and working and uh, so. so. I think the main uh, issue, uh, I'm sorry, is because most of these people, maybe I'm an, not, I'm not, the, I'm not a good example because most of you worked this, uh, in the, the Tomislav's job didn't uh, is connected to the things he does in politics. I mean, all these people, their backgrounds, the things they did before is not like they were photographers and now they're politicians. This activism and politics somehow merged and they managed to, to do both things uh, simultaneously and it, it works because they, they overlap in a way. Okay, there's a question over there. Köszönöm szépen. Azt, hogy kezeltétek, hogyha a család, ugye egy másik iránya ennek, hogy a családi életetek, vagy a magánéletetek mennyire e, sínyli meg a politizálást, amikor a családtagjaitokat bántották, vagy vették elő miattatok, mondjuk a kamasz gyerekeiteket, a párotokat, a szüleiteket, a, tehát ezt mm. hogy tudjátok ti kezelni, vagy, vagy milyen megoldásotok van erre? Did it ever happen that any of you in the movement uh, uh, who, uh, uh, that your family got attacked because of your political activity, that your husband, your wife, your kids, so, so family members got offended because of your political work? It happened a few times to people who are like more visible on the on the local scene. We have like an actor uh, who is part of our platform, and uh, he's an activist, and he's he's also a council in a, in a district. Uh, and for example, after we after we entered the, the government, and he after he entered the the local district, the city district. Um, uh, media started to write and even the mayor actually uh, was talking about uh, how his wife got uh, like before got a job from uh, from the mayor and how he, she she was like begging him to 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 hire her, her and so but it, and so this kind of uh, uh, attacks we kind of received but nothing more than that mm -hmm. okay uh, I, I have a question also, which is connected a little bit to, to something you already said, is that uh, we, like in, in community organizing, we believe that power is coming from different sources, but the main sources of power are money and people and and I believe that you're planning to to have uh, like another elections and to build up this platform for the future. So now it's no, not, not campaign, now it's a time of work, but how do you keep on building these two, let's say sources of power to, to keep in work and to face uh, next elections? In terms of money, <laughs> uh, 
many of us that are uh, counselors are giving our entire salary or 30% of our salary is obligatory to give it to the party. So every month out of all these uh, district members and uh, neighborhood members, uh, counselors, the party is gaining some money. So this is a constant flow uh, of money and uh, also we are constantly getting donations still, right? And, um, and we are spending very, very, very little money. So the, the w we are very thrifty. Uh, so the, the, the our, our budget uh, is kind of growing steadily. And in terms of people, maybe Eva could speak. Um, yeah, we, we still depend on voluntary work. And uh, it is... Uh, it is, an, it is an issue which we have to, it's, it, it is a problem which we have to address in the future. Uh, and, but it, it, we are still thinking how to, how to do it. We were thinking of like maybe employ uh, one or two people because we now have money for, for, for example, for their salaries. But then we are very afraid of, uh, of the situation in which they are going to be our like... Uh, secretaries that are going to like they will have to do everything and we, we um, I know it's it's like really a hard uh, like uh, delicate uh, decision but we know that we like in the future when we are going to spread we'll need to to change some things but also on the other hand we know that we if, if we include and we are doing it now like if we include more people in the platform which will which will be like uh, um, active in different working groups, then again the, the 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 work we are doing now will will spread and kind of uh, so it, it's uh, it's very difficult. And yes, we are we are all the time talking about it. But uh, we even decided and on the Zagreb Nash level, uh, actually that was like maybe the main argument. Uh, uh, to go on the on the uh, on the EU uh, elections, uh, uh, but in a way to form a, like a national platform from different initiatives around Croatia, uh, and uh, so people, individuals from Zagreb and Nash kind of started to to. Uh, to form this platform in like very similar way we did it in in Zagreb, uh, and probably we'll see. We have to again talk to our uh, platform members, but probably Zagreb and Ash, if everything turns out well, will be part of the of the like this uh, coalition of the, on the national level. And what we thought was we need another campaign because during the campaign uh, and you have like more media coverage then you can like uh, people can hear more uh, more about you so we can like include and mobilize more people in the platform and the other thing if we get uh, the, like the EU elections we'll get some uh, money and infrastructure then which we can and we'll be able to 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 invest in our uh, struggles my last question is also connected to people like how do you get keep the connection with the voters how do you keep them informed or how do you meet them maybe in person uh, we do the press conferences almost uh, uh, every month on the issues that are uh, and the problems and issues that are being addressed on the in, in the city assembly um, we also, um, at, at Thomas level, like the, our representative uh, has like the, this Facebook status, stat status, <laughs> uh, which he writes like uh, every, like after the, the the city assembly, like every month, a lot of, about again different thing, different topics they were talking ab uh, about during the assembly. We filmed the assemblies and then we put it also on Facebook. Uh, uh, we still do the, the actions as we did it, like during the campaign. Uh, and uh, um, 
we also uh, on the on the lower level in the district and neighborhood level like we said yesterday and we are going to talk later about it uh, we uh, for the first time we organized these citizen assemblies uh, in Zagreb which is like something what like legitimate and right of the people who uh, in the neighborhoods and in the districts but nobody actually uh, told people that they can do it so for the first time we did that and uh, it was it's also kind of uh, it's it's like a, a, an open way to to communicate communicate with people and more and more people are actually involved uh, not not uh, necessarily in the platform but in different uh, situation we are uh, participating so n now it's the time if you have any more questions because we we touched a lot of things that you are interested in and uh, but then we didn't go back directly to the campaign if uh, anyone in the room has more questions so my question is uh, um, what uh, um, data statistics feelings uh, did you base your uh, decision about the fact that the time was now to enter the elections was it the number of active volunteer people who were willing to help in on the practical level not in theory uh, or was it uh, a public poll or survey or more uh, a spiritual feeling that this is the time uh, i think that uh so this was two years ago uh, in Croatia. We had this um, thing that we, we really had the feeling of this right wing turn, to, to turn to the extreme right. Because we had, uh, 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 we were in illusion before that this is somehow not happening in Croatia, so that we have this right wing party that we are used to, okay, we know them. That, but some th there was this insurgence of this extreme right and somehow people that were these uh, SPD voters that were disillusioned, that didn't care for politics, somehow got scared. Uh, okay, something really bad is happening uh, and maybe things will not be uh, these bad things that we know, but something worse. And so we kind of played on this fear. We knew that uh, somehow we can use it, that, pe that we can uh, wake people up from their uh, drowsiness and their, um, you know, being, oh, politics is something dirty. I don't even want to get my hands dirty. So we kind of, I mean, this is one of the reasons I involved in, in the process. At that point, I was quite depressed with the situation. And also it was our mayor's fourth term when uh, he was uh, being elected for his fourth term and we had the feeling that he is uh, maybe uh, getting a bit weaker <laughs> for, for the, in these 16 years or 12 years. So uh, we, we kind of felt that maybe now we, we can stab him a bit. And I have a there is al also just like a like few more things. One is that... Uh, uh, when you say did we we didn't know that we have volunteers we 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 talked about entering politics local politics like for three years also well, like before and yes we knew that we realized that uh, our networking is like really getting really strong and it, and then that we can use it for the elections the other thing is that we have like in the platform like uh politologists sociologists and we have we actually had like a research group uh, that was like dealing with the subject and that was actually uh, uh, doing the polls and different things to, to through which we realized that we can use this uh, political situation in Croatia to to get votes from uh, like uh, primarily from disappointed uh, social democrats voters uh, so yeah that was something else i want to say but <laughs> i forgot this is two questions that uh, you, you thought that you got seven and a half percent, something like that. Yeah, and then the question that how is your election system that like the seven and percent, it means like you are really have a part participate in the municipality like seven and a half percent, or it gives you just a less power because you don't get inside the municipality by in, in districts. Ez egyéni körzetekről próbálok kérdezni, hogy mondjuk Magyarországon hiába kap valaki tíz százalékot, uh, az csak egy huszadnyi. Uh, erőt jelent az önkormányzatban. 
how much power this 7.4 really gives you? Like how much, how much cares or how much uh, really inside? Like like yeah. I said, so 7.6 in the city assembly, it gives us uh, four uh, representative in the city and assembly how much out percent of 51. Is it? So much less than 7.5%. Yeah, out of 51 people are in the in the city assembly, and there we have four people. Our coalition has so four it's not people. not fair. No, yeah, but on on the other, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the same in Hungary. Yeah, so we got like 10 percent, and we got one twentieth of of participation. And the other question, like uh, even it even the municipal election, people are voting about the big parties, like about being left or right. So they don't really think about the person who is the major or what you do personality like uh, who is your your candidate in this district or that they are voting for the party left and right and they don't care about it could be an orange like a piece of orange it, they would vote for it or it's a piece of carrot they would vote for it because it's red so they don't really care about uh, the persons but actually it, it, it is it is changing and it did change uh, I think not only in Croatia I think uh, all around like like Hannah said we really like the like we had this like two major parties one is like this conservative center uh, right yeah. and uh, and social democrats and they really uh, and they had the same politics especially in the economical sense yeah. and people like during 28 years especially those who want to uh, vote for the yeah. left they realize that the, like all the values they have like as the pay is not like promoting and it's not addressing the problems they think they should address so it's really we had like uh, like many people who uh, who are disappointed in, this, in in these big parties and want like something else something fresh something new uh, and on the left spectrum something progressive so and we kind of used it and i think in like uh, in the future, it's going to be even more, uh, especially with the things we are doing now. We, we, we probably will gain more votes. Yeah, I think the, your question is, I mean, it's happening. Now I, I will say something really like uh, that we all know, but you have Trump and you had his only uh, opponent that could have won Trump was Bernie Sanders. And both of them are uh, atypical for their parties they are outsiders so in their faces i mean that th i think that this disappointment disappointment in the cdu and spd is all happening all over the world all over the world so and besides that on our local level our mayor he has his own party his name is milan bandage and he has a party that is called milan bandage 365 like 365 days a year so he doesn't belong to any party he has his own sounds good <laughs> other questions do you have any questions that stayed in your mind and we didn't answer Okay, there's there, there are two more questions. Egy kérdésem lenne a médiával kapcsolatos, hogy én úgy érzem nálunk ugyanúgy két pólusú a média, hogy a politika lassan, hogy a náluk mennyire befolyásolja, és itt most nem a burkot, a burkot, a minden befolyásolja a politika a média, de nálunk már nyíltan. Tehát itt most már ez már nyíltan folyik. Náluk ez mennyire van jelen? Hogyha ha jelen van, akkor egy ilyen két pólósú médiába hogy tudnak bekerülni? Tehát már itt nálunk teljesen el van döntve, hogy kikerülhet be. Ha vagy ide tartozol, akkor bekerülsz az indexre, ha oda tartozol a magyar időkbe is kész, és különben ott pusztulsz el, ahol vagy. So it's, the question is connected to the media, and it's more reflecting on the Hungarian situation, that not only the political uh, sphere is divided in Hungary, but the media is also very much divided. So you are either... Uh, seen on the right wing and then you get into the right wing media or the one which is next to the government or uh, you are seen on the opposition and then you get into the oppositional media but there's no moving in between do you have similar situation and how you deal with it uh, we, we have this um, the, our most uh, critical situation is our national television which uh, now uh, there is a boycott in Croatia happening where all the people from different uh, um, uh, like non-government groups, cultural uh, associations and uh, journal journalist association are boycotting our national TV uh, station for two weeks. 
uh, but our national TV station is like a, a PR service for our uh, for our governing part. It's it's really like um, like North Korea. And there's there's no difference. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how it. Maybe it's better in North Korea. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, but we, we have uh, uh, other TV stations, of course, that are privately owned, that, that, that are better. And m but again, we, have, we don't have a leftist uh, TV station. We have liberal TV stations and very conservative, but the problem is not conservatism, but the, the thing that they are just uh, like uh, walking with our premier, uh, premier tasting fruit and uh, things like that. <laughs> Okay, one, one more question. Okay, <coughs> thanks. So I'm interested in uh, an example what you had to hide in this uh, watermelon phenomena. Uh, if you could name just one, uh, it would be interesting. And uh, uh, another part of the question is, uh, what international example you followed as uh, inspiration and did you try something what was happening in another country and you realized it's not working in your situation? Did you experience such thing? Uh, about this water, we had this, uh, for instance, we had this, uh, this new uh, party that is being formed for uh, European elections and uh, the, uh, f they were asked in the uh, on the national TV, th th they're all also somehow connected to Zagreb, but this is a very cl clear example. And uh, in uh, in the national TV, they were asked, "What do you, so you are planning to do uh, 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 economically? Your plans are on, on on the side of socialism, which I think is g is good. It's something that you can talk about. But our candidate, she got afraid of." this socialism, she says, uh, well, yes, you know, we, we think this is something <laughs> that can be really discussed or, or uh, something that we are aiming for. She got, uh, she got really scared that people will say, oh no, because Croatia has this socialist uh, history, as you know, that people will say, oh no, these are communists, we don't want to wo vote for them. So she just said, Oh no, we just want um, uh, people to have a better everyday lives. Uh, we will care for all the people, no matter their ideology. We just think about everyday issues and how to make them better. And this, for instance, some, some of us within the party that are a bit more left, we're s we saw this as a, as a kind of treason of our values, but, we, but still we really understand why this had to be played that way. So. This is something. But actually, this happened on the national level, and I think that we'll have like more problems uh, on the national level. These kind of problems on the national level. On the local level, actually, we we didn't have like these kind of examples because we didn't have to talk about socialism. Although we would, Hana and I. <laughs> uh, and uh, the the second question, yeah, we were inspired by by uh, by Barcelona and Comú and Aura uh, Madrid, and uh, we did talk um, a lot uh, to people from these movements. We even like researched their uh, s s uh, documentation and statute and everything, uh, and uh, so w we took a lot from them. But very soon, well, like in the beginning, we realized that we have to do it. Like we have to apply the our campaign and everything we are doing to our local context. And uh, uh, for example, forming a party, we need hundred people, and uh, they only I think only two person in Barcelona could form a party. And finding 100 people who want to be part of the party uh, and to do it like in two weeks it was totally different than than, than their situation so step by step reali we realized that there are like so many different uh, uh, thing differences which we have to like kind of like realize and uh, act differently okay if there's n n no more if there are no more questions then we will finish and thank you very much for this uh, uh, discussion and, and the presentation and I think we will end.